Hey guys, welcome to day two of our World Cup beer drinking tournament. Today, we have two legends of the game. Italy versus Australia. Now, I'm not going to lie, I'm a little bit biased here, but I'll try and stay as equal-minded as I can. So let's get into it. Round one of our beer drinking World Cup tournament. What celebrity does the beer remind you of and why? We'll start with Italy. Italy. The Peroni looks quite stocky. Looks quite old. Maybe might intimidate you a bit. I'd say this is the Robert De Niro of beers. Australia. How is she playing today? Well, she's looking lean. She's looking handsome. She's looking dreamy. I'm going to award Australia today the Hugh Jackman. So based on how they're looking today, these celebrity powerhouses, I'm going to have to go with, based on their movie career, Robert De Niro. Congratulations, Robert. <laughs> the beer the aesthetic of the bottle itself Italy well the label I mean it, it looks like it hasn't really changed much um, I do like the fine engraving here some Italian fella's name not sure who Australia well it's very minimalistic very crisp looks like Windows 10. I do like the horse on the front. Based on the design of the beer, because I don't know how they did it, I'm gonna have to award it to Italy, Peroni, due to its beautiful engravings. Bam. Who does the taxes, h and Cockblock? <laughs> Let's get into the culture of the beers. What does the beer invoke in you? Does it make you happy? Does it make you sad? Does it make you nostalgic? Whatever that is, that's your business. The Italian culture of this beer, I do like pizza, I do like pasta, but I'm not a fan of vino. Really get your nose right in there, really. <laughs> mm, a little citrus, maybe some strawberry. Mm. Passion fruit. Mm. And oh, there's just like the faintest sousson of like uh, asparagus, and there's a just a flutter of like a like a nutty Edam cheese. Australia, the drinking culture, second to none. It's a stallion, as you can see by the horse. You know what? Based on my experience and my culture and how I perceive these two powerhouses, I'm going to have to award Australia with the koala today. Excuse me, I'm Eric Lentra. Charles Xavier. Go fuck yourself. Four. Now this is the one of the most important rounds we have. Accessibility. How easy is the beer to open? This can be a huge barrier to entry sometimes. We'll start with Italy. Is it a twist top? Definitely not a twist top. Let's see how she goes with the popper. Wow. 
One pull. Not bad, Italy. Now Australia. Is she a twist top? She's a twist top. I like my twist tops. Based on that accessibility, I'm I'm gonna have to award the koala to Australia. Congratulations. That was our titi. Dala banana titi. Just give me the damn banana before the king ends up on you. Let's go. Okay, guys, very exciting. In day two of our beer drinking World Cup, we have been brought to a tie break, two apiece between Australia and Italy. Now is the most pivotal round. Taste. Italy will go first. Okay. Let's see what you're doing there, Italy. Let's give Australia a go. Ooh. That's crisp. That's dry. That's Carlton. Based on the overall perception from today's match, I think the koala is going to have to go to Australia. Congratulations, Australia. Goodbye, Italy. You are going home.